The National Leadership of ASU received the news of the purported removal of the Vice Chancellor of the University of Lagos, Unilag, by the Governing Council, chaired by Dr. Wale Babalaki, SAN, with absolute shock and total disappointment. We are shocked, not because we regard Professor Oluwato Ito Ogundipe as a saint, but for the fact that all available evidence indicates that it was not taken through the due process. In spite of Dr. Babalakin's spirited efforts to defend the indefensible, it is now clear to all and sundry that there is more to the story coming from the senior member of the bar. In his media appearances, Dr. Wale Babalaki has been clinging tenaciously, tenaciously to his knowledge of the law. Yet, other senior advocates like him, including professors from the Faculty of Law in Unilag, where he was trained, have told him in clear terms that he goofed because the due process as expressly required by the University Miscellaneous Provisions Amendment Act 2003 was not followed in removing Professor Gundipe as Vice Chancellor. Even some members of the Unilag Governing Council have reported that Dr. Babalaki was economical with the truth in his rendering of what transpired at the Council meeting of Wednesday, 12th August 2020. Rather than addressing the substance of non-compliance with due process. Dr. Babalaki has been dismissing anyone that rejected his council's ill-advised decision. He said the Alumni Association did not care to listen to his own side of the story before issuing a release that called for a return to status quo ante. Whereas the chairman of the Alumni Association, Dr. John Momo, is a member of the governing council and was privy to the trajectory of the Unilag saga. In the same way, he rejected the verdict of the alumni. Dr. Balaki also claimed, claimed that the committee of vice chancellors was just a phone call away from him when the committee accused Babalaki's counsel of not respecting due process. For the avoidance of doubt, Dr. Wale Babalaki should be reminded that the knowledge of procedures and processes for appointment and removal of vice, -chancellor, vice chancellors is not the exclusive preserve of legal luminaries because the sources are out there in the public space. Curiously, he has been quoting a strange law, the University Miscellaneous Provisions Amendment Act of 2009, in quotes, which is not known to any other stakeholder as the basis of his council's decision. It is public knowledge that ASU has consistently been at the forefront of the struggle for university autonomy in Nigeria. As we speak, university autonomy and academic freedom is one of the four key issues listed for the negotiation in the 2009 FGN-ASU agreement, which Dr. Wale Babalaki led team as unduly dragged for three and a half years without any concrete results. What we know as the autonomy law in Nigeria today is the University's Miscellaneous Provisions Amendment Act 2003, which was officially gazetted on 12 January 2007 and was further amended in 2012. The principal act itself is the university's miscellaneous provisions act number 11 of 1993. This act and subsequent amendments to it applies to all federal universities in the country. Many state universities have equally domesticated the 2003 act in, the, in their university laws. 
However, as an eminent professor of law puts it, I quote, the amendment of 2003 and 2012 not yet formally incorporated are to be read into the enabling laws under the principle of incorporation by reference. End of quotation. Dr. Wale Babalaki appears to have been quoting section 38 of the principal act as amended, which states, I quote, the vice chancellor may be removed from office by the governing council on grounds of misconduct or inability to discharge the functions of his office as a result of infirmity of the body or mind at the initiative of the council, senate, or the congregation after due process. However, it has been effective on two interrelated questions. The Senate participate in the process as required by the law, and two, was due process followed. As who fully supports the Unilag Senate, Senate's rejection of the Dr. Wale Babalakin led governing council's ill informed decision to remove the Vice Chancellor. We call on Mr. President as visitor to the University of Lagos to immediately constitute a special visitation panel to look into the immediate and remote causes of the events that led to the purported removal of Professor Luwa Toyiti Ogundipe as Vice Chancellor of Unilag with a view to bringing all found capable to book. <laughs>